Okay, so <clears throat> this year we're doing the Scotch Whiskey Advent Calendar from the Secret Spirits Society, which is uh, given to us. So this was a gift, and then we let you guys know that we were going to do it, and they, um, uh, hopefully you received all of yours. I know there were some complications in getting some of them to parts of the states. Uh, we only just got ours like two days ago. <laughs> so it's a thing. Um, but I'm going to work my way through it. I'm going to try to keep it short because there's a lot of video content to figure out. So first things first, let's open this bad boy up. Hey, there's a little note in here. This is uh, welcome to the calendar. Oh, it's just a, from Jonathan and Cindy. A little note, and then some basic information on where they're sourcing all of these things from. Okay, that'll be good to know. And this is one. I opened it earlier. had a hard time getting this out. But that's one. And we need a lapel pin, in theory. I've discovered this, if you guys have this. You can just take this whole cover off. Because doing this on the fly... It's cool, it looks beautiful, but doing it while also shooting video is a pain in the butt. Okay, and a uh, glass. Now, I'm not gonna use this. Why did they ask, there was a question, why did you guys include fancy glasses, which I will keep with this calendar? Why did you guys include fancy glasses instead of Glen Cairns? The answer is because they wanted to do something a little bit special, and everybody has a Glen Cairn, which I get. Uh, but for my purposes, what I'm going to do is instead of using that special glass, I'm just going to use one of our Glen Cairns. And in the meantime, I've got a really kick-ass lapel pin here. There we go. Just while we're doing these, might as well put another hole in my jacket. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? To start with, we have day one. Macduff, aged 14 years old. Okay, so this is a sherry cask finish, distilled in 2003. I'm gonna always keep some of these behind so that everybody gets a chance to try some of these. And um, I just have some of my own little notes. Okay, first things first. Woo, right, immediately it is that butterscotch heavy, but really perfumey floral. I've got a couple of uh, Macduffs from Signatory. And uh, yeah, they all have that same kind of really rounded butter and flour. Although this one has a little bit of a, like a waxy, almost walnut maybe? No, walnuts, maybe almond. But there's a net, there's a nuttiness to, um, that's kind of a little bit rich. It reminds me of the waxy uh, nut note in um, Dalmore. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, by the way, this is ringing in at 57% uh, alcohol. So I love that immediately these guys are just bottling casks and they're not doing, bringing them down to bottle proofing. Mmm. Wow. Okay, so that is all the floral notes that were in the nose just exploded with that high proof alcohol. It's like it turned it all up. It just kind of jumps out of the palate. And then there's that, ah, that clinging burn going down from 57% alcohol. Woo! It's still just, the oils are just lingering. There was an aftertaste of something in there that uh, was sort of the nuttiness, I think, maybe, but I'm, I'm having a hard time getting past the alcohol burn to find that subtle peppery nutty note. Mm. So the taste is it's just sweet and floral and caramel, butterscotch notes. None of the... Uh, let's see if we add a little bit of water here. None of the... The nuttiness is showing up on the taste like I hoped it would. And I thought there was a little bit of a pepper note in there, but it's it's um, it's just the alcohol burn. <coughs> okay, well that's... So, McDuff Distillery is just kind of making a classic Highland Speyside Scotch. 
This is, by the way, um, I did say 14, didn't I? Yeah, 14 years old. I'm just letting this sit, and I'm trying to think. I feel like there's another note that I just can't put my finger on, but it's not really, it's not really coming clear to me. Yeah, the water just flattened it. So, um, I would leave this one without water. Or maybe add a little more. Now, where would you drink this? This is just a gateway, space side, really beautiful, um, floral and slightly butterscotch. Uh, not, not as much as um, like Glenrothes or Cardu. There's a little more hay and earth complexity to it. But overall, this is just an approachable whiskey. And a good way to start. Um, now that I'm getting more water in there, some sulfury type notes are starting to show up, which is weird. That was not there in the beginning and it was it didn't show up until a couple of rounds of water, but this sort of um, pungent sulfury tinge. It's kind of, it's, it's cool. It's a good whiskey. It's a good way to start. Thank you, Jonathan. And uh, guys, it's gonna be a fun December. And uh, I'm gonna return to an old toast, which is until tomorrow, may your crazy stay this side of legal, and may you return before we have time to miss you. Cheers.